This next H word is particularly common among children, hand ringworm, but it's not just in the hands. Hi doctors, my name is Sean. My question for you today is, what is ringworm? My daughter has it on her cheek. I understand it's highly contagious. Can it spread to other parts of her body, like her hands? And if it does, how do we treat it? Ah, uh -huh. well thanks a lot, Sean. That's a really good question, very common in kids. And adults get it too, but yeah, is ringworm caused by a ring, a worm? No, it's not a worm at all. It's a, it's a fungal infection. Uh, if it's on the hands, we call it tinea manis. Uh, it's on the head, we call it tinea capitis. On the body, tinea corporis. You know, there's a lot of places for it. If it's I, I wish we never had come up with this term ringworm I know. because it yeah. sounds frightening. It yeah. does. Like you, have a worm. you have worms on your hands. Yeah. Yeah. And the reason is because, you know, as you can see on a picture here, it starts usually as a small point and that fungus kind of starts to expand outwards and then the inside of it starts to kind of clear up a bit. So it kind of looks like outside on the ring, there's your ring and it's raised up a little bit mm -hmm. and, and it kind of so it's a little acts wormy. like a little wormy yeah. in there. And it's probably named a long, long time ago before we really knew about fungus and fungi and all that kind of stuff. But it's very common. Uh, fungus loves that moist, warm places like this, the folds in your, in your uh, groin mm -hmm. or between your fingers, things like that. And it's very contagious, yeah. So it actually can spread from the cheek to the hands to other places. So, uh, but it's it's kind of, sometimes it's hard to tell between ringworm or tinea versus some other rashes like eczema. You can see here uh, the, uh, the rash on the right is uh, ringworm or tinea, and the rash on the left is eczema, or another rash called uh, pityriasis rosea. And you can see here mm -hmm. two very That's common very looking rashes. And and the clue that I would look for is that scaling on the outside. Uh, with with pityriasis on the left, it, it can be scaly, but it's usually scaly all over, not just on the outside. And of course, if you can't make the diagnosis based upon looking yeah. at it alone, we there can are things test you them. Can do. We you can, can scrape them. some of the scales and look under a microscope, see if we see yeast or, fung mm -hmm. or fungus. So treatment, well, treatment. That, yep. And you treat it like other fungal infections. Mm -hmm. So number one, you want to keep it clean and dry. You you can try over-the-counter antifungal agents, the same type that you would use for jock itch or mm -hmm. athlete's foot, that kind of thing. Other thing you want to make sure you don't wear anything on, on the hands that are rubbing that can irritate the condition. Other thing you want to make sure that you're changing your bedding, your surroundings mm -hmm. all the time because you can get the fungus, it can be on your bed, your pillows, things like mm -hmm. that. And if you're not washing those, you're going to get get the fungus yeah. back. One mistake people often make is they don't treat it long enough. You know, that you may use the antifungal cream for maybe a week, it, it seems like it's going away, so you stop. You need to wait till it's I, completely gone and then go for I, another I've seen week that or two. Yeah. Foot, for mm -hmm. sure, same thing. So, can happen in adults. Why more common in kids? Um, probably cuz kids are touching. Mm -hmm. One another. Same reason kids get a lot more colds. They just spread those germs a lot more often. 